All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the newest episode of the Required Podcast, episode 16. <laughs> and the only reason I know that is because Brandon told me before we started. I didn't look it up. I had no idea. But here we are, and I pulled it off without stumbling. Woo! My first thought <laughs> is, what happens when episode 17 comes out, and then someone hears, hey, this is the newest episode of Required Podcast? Then you're just you a liar. You want me to start over? No, I'll start over. No, go ahead. You're hey, fine. Hey, what's the <laughs> podcast? This is, uh... I... Oh, no. I honestly didn't know it was Required Podcast. When she did the 5-4 countdown, I thought we were going to the iCarly intro. Oh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know. But uh, they, uh, my name is Ethan. I'm CR. That was supposed to be Az's Q, but we didn't tell him. Hi. Yeah, we forgot to tell oh, him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Az. We, uh, we get new... Go ahead. Oh, I'm Az. What's up? No, I'm waiting on someone else. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, are you talking to me? Yeah, we're uh, we're we're falling right in. It's totally fine. We get new guests on here, and we just don't tell them anything, and we just let everybody just fall apart. It's oh, that's beautiful. It. I love See, it. we're supposed this, this to do is... it. Go ahead. It's con it's called controlled chaos. It's the whole reason why bumper cars work. <laughs> there you go. Truth. And that's John. He's a returning guest. He was here last time. Um, Hi, I'm Rectify, John, whatever you want to call me. The whole God, thing is, is we should, uh, you don't believe in God, stop that. Now, <laughs> the whole thing is, is like, we, we don't tell them because it's like, oh, haha, it's going to be funny, but we're the ones that bumble over it. So <laughs> yeah, because we want That's it really to be laughing. right. But at the same time, we like, yeah, we like the chaos, but we like to make it correct where it's like, yeah. Hey. You know what? It's on fire, but it's fine. It's whatever. You gotta add a little bit of chaos. Yeah. You, you just gotta be your own purple sometimes. I you gotta that have that. That's my favorite. If, if you can, I've if never you heard can get that before, and it's changed my life. You need yeah. to watch the uh, you, or you need to listen to the uh earlier episodes of the podcast when we were just like, I don't know if I don't, I wasn't drunk, but I'm pretty sure I was tired. You legitimately <laughs> belted out "Be your own purple" right be at the end of the cast. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Glorious. This is how it sounds. Yeah, like you were doing the outro and you were so happy. You were you were just straightforward like I'm ready to do the outro blah 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 this night have a great night and be your own purple and we're all like what 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 did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Why not? Be your you own purple. You said it so purple. confidently too. It was wonderful. You know, it's not knocking <laughs> you. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be my own neon magenta and I'm going to Be you you can be any color you want to be just be it just do it i'm thinking like a deep red okay that's too far what that's, that's, yeah, <laughs> you just said i could be any <laughs> color i want to be i want to be mauve damn it i'm cool with mauve i'm cool with mauve i want mauve red is the color of aggression and we will not have that here. uh red is also my lucky color i know because the magic monkey in, in uh, singapore told me Sir, you're now magic you monkeys in Singapore. You say that red is yeah, a magic what the color. Fuck are we talking you, about? So, wouldn't touch, you wouldn't touch an AMD processor. Boy, that is like <laughs> red incarnate. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so there there is a legitimate reason why red is my favorite uh, red is my favorite color and my lucky color. Uh <clears> when <throat> we went to Singapore, uh I was uh, for everybody else uh, who doesn't know me, uh, I was in the military for 12 years. I was a submariner. And on one of our, our deployments, uh, we pulled into Singapore and we went to the Oceanarium there. It's right next to this. And, and if anybody on this podcast has ever been to Singapore, you'll understand what I'm saying when it is one of the greatest places on earth. It is absolutely beautiful. Cleanest city I have ever been to, ever. Cleanest cities. And uh, they have a Universal Studios there in this kind of theme park area. And they have the world's largest Oceanarium. It's, it, absolutely massive massive place and we were going that was one of the places we wanted to go to but in order to get to it you have to go through this little museum about singaporean history and it was the year of the monkey um so we went down there and there was this whole big display on like what you know different things for the year of the monkey and that that uh like the, the new year and everything and i went in and they had the they had this giant wheel I said, spin, your, uh, spin the wheel and find out what your lucky color is. And I spun it, and it landed on red. And there was a giant magic monkey on the wheel, and that said that my lucky color was red. So ever since then, my lucky color has been red. Huh. There you go. 
Yeah. The magic monkey in Singapore told me. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. I, I actually, I loved that place. It was beautiful. I bet it was. I'd love to see it someday, but I, I don't want to have to go to Singapore to see it. <laughs> I do want to go to Singapore to see it. I want to I want to see different parts of the world. And honestly, I love Pirates of the Caribbean. So I need to prove him wrong that it's not going to be clean. <laughs> oh, my friend. <laughs> oh, my friend. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, shut up. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. No, actually, the the city's crazy, crazy clean. Um, there's and there's tons of laws. Like you cannot chew gum in public that's wow. that is oh, against I've the law yeah, yeah, there why? Are, because it's considered um uh, rude i guess in their culture to to be I talking mean, yeah, to if, somebody you're, or... if you're smacking your mouth yeah like it's rude in yeah, any case I, <laughs> I completely agree but they have a uh they have laws there against it because it's considered very rude and of course they also have a law where i think it's called disrupting the modesty of a lady so if you, if you, uh, if we were like in a train, for example, and there was a woman standing behind me and I stumble and I bump into her, she can actually press charges for disturbing her modesty. And that's like, I think it's a minimum of 15 lashes with a cane. Wow. Yeah. All they, right. Well, All right. I think All right. Japan it's could learn easy. a thing or two about this. Easy. Well, it's Singapore easy. Is also, easy. Singapore is also the country that um, there was an American tourist. This is back like, I don't know, eight years ago, something like that. But he littered, and they they gave him the cane. Like yep. it was like thirty la thirty smackos with it, and it was yep. yikes. Well, yeah, and it's not it actually a, a cane would... or what? It's a. <laughs> yeah. I, I believe it's like six feet. It's it's this huge rattan pole, and uh, these guys that these guys that do it. I mean, they look like um, if you've ever seen the very first. Uh, Sherlock Holmes with uh, Robert Downey Jr. in it. Remember that oh, yeah. giant, that giant dude that he fights? Like they're those kinds of guys that come out with these massive rattan poles, and like three or four lashes is enough to is enough to like permanently injure you. They can break your back doing it. Um, they, there are people who have died being lashed. Jesus. I mean, it's, yeah, it's it is uh, it is no joke. And a and their drug policy is zero tolerance in the. If you were to walk into Singapore and they were to find you with a baggie with like residue from uh, from any drug, including marijuana, any drug, it is instantaneously the death penalty, unappealable. Holy shit. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's yeah. extreme. Yeah. Uh, okay, I take back the whole thing about going to Singapore. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. No the, the city is they so beautiful because nobody down. fucking lives there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's, it, you know, when you, I, and I, I, when I first yes. went over there, I was terrified because there were all these laws and I'm going, I don't want to get fucking caned, you know? He's so just, I was scared to death to do anything. You sneeze but, and yeah. they're like, all right, get on the ground. You're like, what? What did I do? Much, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But you learn about all of this stuff. And then we went there and we didn't uh. have any problems with it. It was, it was a, it was a great place to go. The nicest people, some of the nicest people I'd ever met. Well, yeah, because uh, if you're not nice, they smack yeah, you in the head. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, no wonder they're God, nice. I, I love going to North Korea. Everyone's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. That's insane. I like. Yeah. I, I feel like there are some places in the world that could benefit from a few stricter, like, cultural policies. Mm -hmm. You know, like, if you are wearing an item of clothing that incites or otherwise supports terrorist act or hate crimes, right? Um, you can be smacked okay. upside the head with a fucking skillet or something. You know, yeah. so if somebody walks around okay. with a fucking swastika on their shirt right. or like whatever. ISIS fan club, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's probably not a great thing to wear in that kind I of do, want, however, want a shirt that's, that says Go Goat Fuckers International. That's my favorite <laughs> term that Philip DeFranco has ever made. Uh, but see, that my... doesn't incite, like, hate crimes and terrorism and things like that. You, you no, ahead, no. You know, I mean, but I, I don't know. I, I, at the same time, freedom of expression, that's fine. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like we could benefit from a few, like, 
strong words leveled towards people that run around with a fucking swastika on their shirt. Oh my uh, fucking god. Here's here's my deal. When it comes down to shit like that, and I'm going to I'm going to avoid anything political at all by saying this. Thank you. But here's the deal. I, I hate the term modesty, but I love the term being respectful. Uh-huh. And the thing is, is if you walk out with shit like that on like and you're saying like I'm adopting this symbol of hate and shit like that for for my cause. Bro, do you not understand that you want your cause to be like if, if you have a cause, you want your cause to be accepted. So you're going to sit here going, hey, check this out. This is my symbol that was previously a symbol of murder and hate that I want everyone to come and join with me on. Are you fucking daft? Yeah. Like that <laughs> makes no sense. No it's, sense it's a, whatsoever. Yeah, that's a that's a fairly a fairly unintelligent thing to do. But people mm. do it. I mean, and I think a lot of people do that more to to get attention than anything, but Exactly. Get a reaction and things like yeah. that. They're the ones who want shock and, factor. Yeah, that's not how you should get it. Uh, a reaction, this this is when it goes into just everything in a, lo- a lot of the state of media right now is everybody wants a reaction and negative reactions are worth more than positive ones. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. why when you talk about content creation in the media, um, you can sit here and be like, oh, like Matt Pat did a, a wonderful, wonderful video on this recently. I love Matt where Pat. He did a t- Matt Pat's the shit. He did a total breakdown of all the good things that content creators have done, uh, especially in the gaming scene, just raising millions upon millions of dollars for charity and so much stuff that 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 they've done that's positively affecting the world. But the media doesn't want anything to do with it because they'd mm. rather say like still sit here and rake PewDiePie over the coals for being a, a Nazi. And it's 2019. We're almost done with 2019 and they're still going off about this shit. Well, I'm, I'm starting to wonder whether or not we are moving towards a world in which like the media, now the media is going to kind of go the way of the dinosaur um like go the way of the the radio i mean the the internet has become such a such a prevalent part of all of our lives that it it just makes sense it's a it's a logical progression and because the internet is the way it is i think a lot of the time you're going to get yeah you're going to get you know people who are looking for the for the negative reactions and everything but by the time you know our generation and the next generation are the oldest ones out there, I don't think we're you hear that boomers. Of- Fuck you! Sorry. <laughs> preach, <laughs> fucking preach. And With, like no, as <laughs> as, as drop. <laughs> I, I get no, I get asked all the time whenever like I'm talking about stuff like this with people in in the norm like in like IRL. <laughs> Which is so weird to say nowadays, but I'm not, it's a totally different subject matter that I'm not going to go, go down right now. But I get asked, like, you know, people ask me, like, oh, well, like, where do you get your news? You know, I'm in a group of people and some people be like, oh, I watch CBS. You know, you got that one dude that nobody likes saying that he watches Fox News. And then you've got me going, <laughs> I get all of my information online i don't pay attention to any of the news networks because it's generally just spun to match either their 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 political stance or uh to make money the people that i usually want that i get my news nine times out of ten from is philip defranco because the dude is so unbiased Mm -hmm. like he is biased in certain aspects but no matter what always places the story before his opinion and that's what I think is most important. I'm probably going to surprise the shit out of you guys with this, but the places I usually get my news are Reuters, and I occasionally will jump on Al Jazeera. I That doesn't surprise me one bit, actually. No? Okay, good. Phew. Yeah. I'm but, actually completely unfamiliar with either of those. So Reuters is considered by multiple sources, and I did the research, um, to be the most unbiased news reporting in Amer- available in America. The the problem is is it's mostly business news, but they will touch on political topics, especially ones that are big and, you know, touchy and things like that, you know, popular ones. 
that people want information on and ones that will affect business decisions and whatnot. But that works well for me because not because I'm business minded, you know, towards any which way, but because I um, I don't like digging through who's dating who now and who got into a car accident. And if I want my news, I want it to be as easy to find as possible. I want it to be completely unbiased or I want it to be about the latest development in cold cases and true crime stuff. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm a simple person, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, but, okay, about like I think it was like six months ago, I saw a tweet from you that absolutely pissed me off for about tw two minutes, right? <laughs> which one? <laughs> and that was, I, I can tell you exactly which one. It was the one where you said that you blocked PewDiePie in your, in your fucking Google app. And I was like, bitch what the <laughs> fuck no it's just because like, i was tired of hearing and, about him and exactly this is and this is what i got right like so you and i had the conversation about it and it was not i'm sick and tired of um it wasn't like i'm sick and tired of pewdiepie of like you know the fucking sub to pewdiepie shit which is what everyone else is on Twitter at the time was just going, it's not cool to support PewDiePie because A, he's a racist or B, he's a Nazi or C, I'm just like, like, I, I think he's a fucking terrible content creator. It, no, for you, it was, if I want to hear about the news, this isn't the type of news I want to hear about. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, dude, no, I totally get it. I, that, that's fine. I thought you were just jumping in on the fucking train. I was just oh, like, no. I'm going to smack the <laughs> shit out of you. I would deserve that too. But no. honestly, with the, with the Google news app that I use, it's really disappointing. And I really don't like the Google news app because I will get either, I will get one of two things, right? I will get either um the same story from five to ten different sources or i'll get the same exact articles in every fucking refresh now i went through and did all the work to like these are my interests these are my blah 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 and i've actually i've like pewdiepie i noted a bunch of topics that i don't i'm not interested about hearing about in news and a bunch of topics i am and it's still the same fucking thing. And I'm getting really sick and tired of it. And I'm uh, I'm heavily considering replacing it. But instead of replacing it, what I've done is I've tailored my preferences again. So it's just entertainment oriented. It's just technology oriented. It's just cool shit that goes on and blah, blah, blah. And then if I want the actual news, I go to Reuters. Or every once That's in a while, I'll catch a, a Al Jazeera clips and video episodes or whatever on um, on YouTube. But yeah, that's about it. The thing that I've ended up doing is along with Philip Franco is I, is I just use Reddit. And the thing is, is like, I know a lot of stuff on Reddit is going to be fairly like leaning one way or the other. Mm -hmm. But what I do is I actually follow, um, like I follow world news. I follow a couple other different subreddits that help split up the, um, the lean, the, like the, for lack of a better term, the left leaning bullshit that i don't need i don't need like oh trump says that he's the chosen one i'm just like bro hold okay that's not a story that's not that's bullshit i want to know what's going on in the world you know what i mean mm -hmm. like i i, I want to see what's actually going on so i my whole thing is i want to even though like it leans one way with like you know just one subreddit if i have like three of them and i'm scrolling through in all the yeah. crazy stuff i see on my reddit feed it's and, i i get a nice little well-rounded spiel so maybe yeah. if i jumped on reddit i would have heard about the amazon burning before i heard about the fucking you know two weeks later That's, i shit you not i actually heard about that from reddit Oof. see that that's i i have yeah. to admit i've gotten to the point where especially when i was when i was uh in in the military I just got to the point where I stopped watching the news. Like I would get, we would get these, these news and news and sports uh, downloads and we'd be able to kind of sort of keep up with what was going on with the rest of the world. But I got to the point where everything I, I saw uh, coming off of uh, coming out of the TV was all, it, it was all spun to, to, to benefit somebody. It wasn't actually reporting anything. So I've gotten to the point now where if I if there's something that I need to hear about it, not hear about, I'll usually hear about it either from Ethan or from Tyler 
or for my family. And when I hear about it, then I'll, I'll do the research myself. I'll just Google the subject and go through and do all of my own fact, not my own fact searching. And but that's, if it's that's a great, if it's a big, big story, then I'll do that. For the most part though, I just try to let it go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if it's, if it's big enough to affect me, then it's pretty damn big, you know? So at some point that. you just got to give up following the news, you know, it's, yeah, okay. The yes, the Amazon's burning and we're losing. You know, the Amazon is responsible for 20% of the globe's oxygen supply. That's big bad. But there's a fucking meteor that's gonna come within 10 billion light years of Earth. And oh my god, is it the end for us? Like, Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I got a lot years. of questions here. Yeah, it's first off. To- how can they see it 10 billion light years away? Hold uh, on. 10 billion was extraordinarily hyperbolic, but. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I don't need to hear about fucking Dragon Ball Z and hyperbolic time chambers. I need to know about <laughs> this asteroid. I think, asteroid. It's, I think no, it's supposed hyper- to come within. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, um, I do know that there's, uh, that there's several, several objects that are being tracked that may or may not hit the earth but I and mean, if there's... it does what the fuck can we do about it exactly i can We're eat not it sending Bruce Willis up there with a drilling team that's not happening i'm sorry yes it is <laughs> yes it is if it's the end of the world if this is like do or die i'm sending up there with the, with the drilling team and i'm putting fucking what who was it gary Busey on the fucking <laughs> nuke i'm making yep. him write it okay <laughs> no we need we need our uh our our cl- our team we need Clint Eastwood. We need um who else was in that uh the entirety of Aerosmith. No, 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 I'm thinking of Space Cowboys. Do you guys yeah, remember Space that movie? Uh, that was, oh, uh, Clint Eastwood, Tommy Lee Jones, Tommy Donald Lee Jones, Sutherland, and James Lee Garner. Jones. Yeah. That, that was the first movie I ever cried at, actually. Oh it was man, a fantastic dude. Fantastic film. Space Cowboys. It was the ending. So it was the ending with him sitting on the moon when I bawled like a bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that whole uh, that see that's the thing i have always been fascinated by space and space travel those kinds of movies were always my favorite you know there's uh, what was the uh, wasn't there a website for a little while where people were signing up to go like on a one-way trip to mars i signed up i mean god damn it ethan the (laughs) only reason my name which is kind of the same thing the only reason (laughs) i wasn't allowed to sign was because military members weren't weren't allowed to um that's bullshit but yeah i would have in a heartbeat <laughs> in a heartbeat i would have signed up for that shit do you know who was the probably the first there. person to put their name on that list elon Fucking musk uh, elon Plier. musk Fucking oh, yeah, markiplier. yeah 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 markiplier space. oh yeah oh, that's space sweet. i love space <laughs> didn't they do CR, what are your thoughts on the topic since you're so quiet <laughs> <laughs> i uh I'm calling I, you I literally have nothing I, uh, oh. I I don't know. I'm in a weird mood today. I'm just kind of just let it go. I'm just listening, relaxing. Gotcha. Acting all cool till some Enjoy folks it. start some trouble in your neighborhood. He's sitting in the back corner with his sunglasses on, even though it's a dark room. I'm sleeping. I'm like, <laughs> just, I'm here. Just yeah. like glaring at everybody. Like, <laughs> everyone like thinks I'm mad Thor. in a corner, but I'm just sleeping. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Thor and Endgame sitting in the corner. Right, yeah. What's all about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I. Uh, you know, I don't He's have anything on any of this. <laughs> Fair doing enough. Then I will. I will do. I will do the honor of changing the subject. No, I. Uh, and talk uh, to I mean, as. I, was, I have a silly story that I just figured out. If you just want to hear that, and then we'll go to that. Oh yes, yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. A silly it's gonna story, take like, please. It's gonna take like two seconds. Um, do you guys remember Death Row Records? Okay, that was cool. On to the next story. Well, you said <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm She's kidding. On my page. Burn. <laughs> records. I don't remember this. No, it sounds familiar, but uh, maybe because they Dr. watched Metal Apocalypse. But what? No, Death Row Records is owned by Dr. Dre and signed like yeah. Snoop Dogg way back when. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, but let's be honest. Cool. Like Death Clock. Like you get it. Moving on. <laughs> Go on. Uh, anyway, they were acquired by Hasbro. What? 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 <laughs> what? Hasbro? Uh, yes. Hell? yes, Hasbro owns Death Row Records now. Three from the one to the one to three. I like good Lego and I like good tree. <laughs> good. 
god. That was amazing. What the, <laughs> what the hell are they going to do with a with a freaking hip hop label? What can't they do? We've got Disney oh owning god. Star Optimus... Wars right now. That's true. Motherfucker. Optimus Prime sing along songs. How did we go from Dr. Dre and wow. Snoop Dogg to sing along songs? Then again, okay, I take it back. We Bry. did have Amy Dude. Lee doing children's uh be- le- lullaby songs. That so, would be incredible. I don't care what it, anyone she does. says. She does. It's on YouTube. Oh, seriously? Yeah, oh I'm not even fucking, fucking kidding God. you. God. Give, give me like, a link to this. Row, row, row <laughs> your boat and shit. Everything. Fucking oh! wow. I speaking her. of... Oh, man. Speaking of big companies owning... Owning, uh... Like, very famous IP. This whole thing going on with, uh... With Marvel and... Uh... Marvel and Sony. <laughs> Freaking Disney Spider-Man is oh my god! Yeah, oh yeah, Disney and Sony. They couldn't. It's Disney and Sony, but Mar- Marvel is technically its own entity. Right. Yeah. Well, now hold on. Now hold on. Marvel who Studios. made? Who made the 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 last two? Um, the last, the last two, two spider Man's Sp- like the really really good talking... last. Okay, that was... so like uh, Homecoming and Far From Home were both made by Sony under direction of Kevin Feige as producer. Right. That was the I, contract with them. I have to admit, S- Sony's keeping the rights. Correct. Let me just yes, yes. That up. And they're pull, but they're pulling Spider-Man out of the MCU. Yeah, I, they I get that. I I understand that. But but a we're at a split point in the fa- in the uh, the MCU where they're bringing in a bunch of new faces, a bunch of new um, superheroes, uh, all of this stuff. I, 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 Sony has made the two best Spider Man movies in history. Sorry, Tobey Maguire. And and... I agree. But, he produced them. Yeah. But, but <laughs> I think, I, I don't know. I am positive. I have positive feelings about it. I think that it's a fine thing. I think that it has potential to continue and be an amazing thing. I'm not too worried. I'm more worried about it's, Ewan it's... McGregor coming back as Obi Wan. Well, <laughs> I agree. Whoa, but whoa, the whoa, deal whoa, whoa, is, whoa, hold on, whoa, hold on, whoa. hold on, hold on. I will go into you and McGregor. I will talk about them that in a minute. <laughs> How? Do, but, okay, look. I'm gonna I'm gonna say whoa. I'm gonna just interject for a second. I swear to God, if this is the second podcast in a row where someone shits on the thing that I love, I'm <laughs> so fucking I upset. love him. I no, no, not you, it. not you, not you. Somebody said that they were worried. Okay, and I. <laughs> Look, all right, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. Mm. Oh come I'm, on! If you're talking about Spider Man, I no, no, I'm not talking about Spider Man. I'm talking about Mister Mister no. McGregor. All right, McGregor. No, I'm fine with McGregor. McGregor I don't care how Kenobi. fucking terrible the Last Jedi was. Let's finish. Let's finish Spider Man, and then we'll go on to Star Wars. We'll, yes. did, yeah, I skipping, agree. Skipping yes. and jumping. Go ahead. So here's uh, the deal with Spider Man. I haven't seen any Spider Man, um, so go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so the deal with Spider-Man right now, um, Sony has decided to pull Spider-Man back from uh, the MCU. And with that, unfortunately, means we lose Tom Holland. And Who's the we, God? Not yeah, we, we, we won't have him as Spider-Man. Under contract, um, though? He, yeah, it's done. He's he yeah, will not be the, Spider-Man anymore. The contract's His contract over. was made with, with Marvel Studios, not right. with Sony. So that's the thing. Huh, Marvel I liked Studios, him as Spider-Man. yeah, yeah, and, and then yeah, he was fantastic as Spider-Man. So that's maybe the whole he can thing do a, like, a contract Sony, readjustment. Sony, Sony paid for them. That's why. That's the, the what Sony had in with this, and Marvel had the uh, Marvel had the marketing rights and had the uh, has the toy rights. So any movies that are made, Sony has rights to. Spider-Man yep. and all 900 of the characters attached to him. Yep. So was that an exaggerated number? Sony, or is that an actual thing? That's, no, that's an, an actual, actual thing. number. Oh my There's God. almost a thousand. Uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man has more characters in oldest... his universe than any other, no, than any other character, with the exception of, or with in any other uh, comic book universe, with one ex, with one exception, and that's X-Men. Correct. X-Men has the uh, has the largest number of cast members for any single comic series. Holy crap. Yep. Followed very very closely by Spider-Man. I think it I think they only beat him by like 20 or 30 characters, right? Yeah, it's very close. But X-Men's be- um, still being made with new uh, new mutants showing up all the time. So Spider-Man's still being made too. And my thing is is I I'm perfectly fine with 
Sony continuing the Spider-Verse series that they've made with, you know, Into the Spider-Verse, which is, let's be honest, the best Spider-Man film ever made, right? I, I have to agree with that. I I'm love Tom Holland. Well. I love Tom Holland yeah. as Spider-Man in the MCU, but Jesus, Into the Spider-Verse was beautiful. That film is incredible. We'll it that. will change your We're... entire outlook on animation. Oh, yeah, I don't want to see it. I just, something... I just I haven't gotten to no. it. It was, I need, but... so I'm gonna I'm gonna get into nerd talk for a second with Into the Spider Verse, right? Oh no, God! So, uh, number one, a really really cool animation tidbit that they did with Into the Spider Verse. Um, Into the Spider Verse is actually animated in two separate frame rates. So really, um, yes, Miles Morales for the uh for uh starts out the movie at 15 frames per second and by the end reaches 24. That's super because, fucking cool. Interesting. Because what it does is it creates the it creates the image of him being real jittery and like hard and like not really under like his animation becomes a lot more um less fluid because he's inexperienced. But as he starts getting a hang of who of uh being Spider Man, his animation increases to twenty four frames per second to match the other Spider Man characters. That's interesting. It is one of the coolest That's animation cute. ideas. Uh, another thing that they do is uh, aberrations. Um, whenever, uh, in, if you notice the backgrounds, they have um, cell shading like comic books do mm -hmm. uh, with like, you know, like the dot shading that you see. And whenever something is out of focus, uh, the um, it looks like it's been smeared and in, in two layers. That's what they uh, do in most modern comic series to show something is out of focus or at a different layer in depth. It's That's one of the coolest really cool. fucking things, dude. I did I notice love that, that movie. Watching that film, I did notice that that was that was the closest thing to an animated comic book I have ever seen. Like a legit the bagel. Yeah. Uh, Wait, what? Like the bagel. Okay, so I'm okay. So I'm I'm I 100 percent agree with you, right? There is a scene. I don't mean I didn't mean to interrupt, but I was using this to to sh give an exact e example of what you just said. Mm -hmm. There is a scene where uh, Miles and uh, Peter B. Parker are walking out of the lab, and uh, Peter B. grabs the fucking bagel, and as they walk out, you hear one of the people shout, "He took a bagel!" And literally, when he throws the bagel back at the person. And it hits them in the head. It just for one one frame. There's a little like bonk animation that just says ah. bagel. <laughs> oh yeah, that I did is all over that, that movie. Yeah, it there's the, all the, over that movie. The bang, pow, all of the all of the connection yep. connection uh, sound bubbles that you see in in comic books. That's absolutely true. Yeah, the it's it's everywhere, and it all starts when Miles gains his powers. Yeah, that and the fact that everything's dot shaded, which I thought was amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was very, very cool. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the reins for just a second here. Are we gonna talk, talk about Star about Wars this. now? Oh yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> I had this other subject before, and then we went on this tangent. <laughs> um. Okay. So with Star Wars, though, uh, you and McGregor. Fuck yeah. My favorite character. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Same. Hello there. Like, please tell... Hold on. CR, please tell me that you've seen SC-48. Or SC-38. Alright, I have no idea fucking idea what you're talking about. Okay, so here's here's something really cool for you. Some, I don't um, want to disappoint you, but a, no, I have no idea. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's a YouTube thing. Some uh, uh, A group on YouTube called uh, FX It and Post, right? took um the entire lightsaber fight from a new hope between obi-wan and darth vader mm -hmm. and completely remade it oh i remember that you did, did showed, you show me that or did as show me I that show, i showed you that and it was um i actually showed it to, yeah I, sh I, I showed it to you before we got siege before That's we picked them right. up before um, we got siege like we adopted him from a shelter <laughs> <laughs> pretty much but the um what they did was it's completely remade. They made it using a combination of uh, CG and uh, uh, fighting choreography. That's really, really well done. 
but one of the coolest things that they did was they used deep fake technology to put um yes yes yes, yes. uh the, i can't remember his name fuck <laughs> the original Obi alec guinness made, uh, face. thank you oh, sir, alec alec. sir alec guinness <laughs> sir alec guinness they put Is his face guinness on the actor playing alec him and they use this they use deep fake technology to do it so there's never a scene where you just see someone else it's either his face is obscured or it's alec guinness wow it's it's so cool and the fight choreography is fucking amazing and since it's not like you know a million dollar project there of course it's not going to be perfect but it's better than anything else you've seen that's awesome that's very cool i will i will gladly send you a link cr dope um yeah fucking obi-wan dude i uh i've said this before on the podcast um even though those you know those three sets you know the the three movies were hot shit in the fucking public eye i actually really liked them and obi-wan I... really stood out to me as as a kid you know even now i you know i i see why people hate the movies but i will still watch them any day it's not not an issue. Tell me cr you i'm with watch. you man i'm i'm with you i completely agree with you it I it, they I fully understand that from a cinematic point of view, yeah, episodes like, one, two, and three were nothing more uh, than one and steaming two. dog crap. Yeah, one and two, like, it, sure. I, three was know, okay. It's like yeah, but one and these two is like these other movies are better, sure, and I get it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I still enjoyed it. It's fine. But it's, it's a fucking fine. Star please, Wars. Please, you could please. do. You could give me a stick figure, no stick figure animation, and then call it Star Wars, and I'm gonna love it because it's Star Wars. But speaking of I, animation, no, I haven't. Please seen tell the, me that you no. guys have. You haven't seen the Clone Wars. I don't have time for that shit anymore, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, I work ten sitting, hours a day. What the fuck do you want me to do with the rest of my time? <laughs> you are sitting here telling me about your love for Star Wars, and you haven't seen the Clone Wars. No, no, my no! Don't dude. guilt him about it. Don't guilt him about it. It's no, you don't not. say, no, no, "Oh no, my no, God, no, no, you're missing no, no. out." It's you are when you... missing out so hard. No, you don't say you, when you're worked... missing out. Hold on, you say when you get a chance to see it, it is going to blow your mind, and you are going to love it. It is really good. Yes. He's going to adore it. It is very good. He's going to lose his shit over it, and it's going to be beautiful, and I'm going to hear the squeals of glee all the way in my state, and it's going to be wonderful. I'm going to be sitting here. I'm going to be sitting here in bed, like in every bed, and just like, ah, ah, (laughs) finally happened. a lot of episodes not, it's like, a lot to um, uh, i gotta i gotta plan around is, it, this but understand understand it is an anthology okay so i would recommend looking up the list on what order to watch them and so you can get it chronologically oh jesus but, all right yep yep that put me off but, <laughs> I'm, not, no, I'm not gonna watch I, that, I said, that no no, no if, I said <laughs> if you want to that is an if you want to no you i'm definitely not i'm just gonna mind. watch it as it as it un, you know. a, okay that's it's fine. Series. Then the other it. thing that I was going to say is it's God. in half an hour bites, so you don't have to just sit down and binge it. 121 episodes. It's it very, is. Very they are actually... So here's a really interesting thing for you. Um, the Clone Wars actually ended, I do believe it's season six, and it was supposed to have a season seven, but that it ended when Disney bought the rights to Lucas, right? So they decided that they were going to go ahead and make... Um, like they, they, they decided they were going ahead and finish what they had done and release it on Netflix. So that was done. And there are a few episodes that were never actually completed. You can find them online. Um, if you ever want to like, you know, just for the shits and gigs, but at, uh, I think it was comic con last year or D 23. I can't remember which one they announced that they were going to be doing the Clone Wars season seven to actually finish it out the way they had originally written and intended. And it looks phenomenal. <laughs> it's they, they, they've only done one trailer for it and it's I'm at a loss. I I cannot wait. Huh. That that, that series that series actually like so uh, Anakin Skywalker in his writing and his characterization a lot of ways had a lot of fucking problems, right? Uh, he's, yeah. 
You're talking about the yeah. movies? The, uh, yes. Okay. I didn't know if you're still talking about Clone Wars because I don't know anything about it. I'm like, no, I, I, I am talking about the Clone Wars. I am talking about the Clone Wars, but in the movies, he had a lot of fucking problems. The Clone Wars fixes him. Liar. No. <laughs> it fixes him. No, no, no. Like, did that go over your head? Oh, no. No, you lie. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, he didn't get you it. You brought him here to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that's, that's the whole thing. Like, everybody talks about those, those movies being terrible. And I, I'll, I'll agree with you. I, I, I agree with, uh, with uh, Kevin Smith. On. There is no excuse for... Your microphone. Hey, hey. Oh. You're really, really quiet, homie. Uh oh, how's that? Good, Way much better. better. Better, okay. So, I, sorry, I coughed earlier and I didn't didn't put my uh my mic back towards my face. Anyway, uh, uh I still think that now I I completely agree with Kevin Smith in in one thing. There is no defense nor excuse for no. <laughs> He's still doing it, and I can hear it from the other room, and it's hilarious. <laughs> But the, <laughs> but the, yeah. I'm so the, tempted to use my voice changer right now. <laughs> I loved the, I loved the films. I couldn't not love them. But man, that that part, even I was, you know, slapping my forehead. That was that. That was the the one and only time that I've ever been sitting in a movie theater and I heard simultaneous whoosh of like six <laughs> six hundred hands all slapping foreheads simultaneously going. What? Why? That again? The, the the naked gun that did that wasn't it? <laughs> was it? I don't know. I didn't was, see the naked gun. The same per- it was either that or it was the same person who made it. <laughs> oh no, I'm talking about like when we were seeing episode three and we saw the no 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 no, no. there's there's a scene in a movie where actually like everyone in a theater actually face palms also. Oh really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that film, which is weird because I'm a I'm a pretty hardcore cinephile. He's a cinephile. I love movies. I you complete them. me. <laughs> exactly. I am a I am a big time film fan, so Oh, speaking of film, I have to tell him. I have to tell him. I got the thing. The ah, thing? yes. Um, yes, the thing. Yes. I I made an investment as okay. and I uh Okay, so I've been telling a lot of people that I've been wanting to make this content of uh, like showing people how to better their streams and stuff and whatnot. And I I finally, yeah, exactly. Uh, Speaking of, I I made a new channel, Rec Support. The name came from these guys calling me Rec Support. So on the spot, the first time I ever heard that name, I went and made another email in my G Suite and made another (laughs) YouTube channel called Rec Support. That's awesome. That nobody else has that channel name, and I'm fucking stoked. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Um, I bought a uh, Canon EOS M50. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm Damn. stoked. <laughs> I actually bought a camera. Ah, oh, and I love it. I I already I I was playing around with it. I I, I fucking love this thing. <laughs> Yeah, playing um, uh, new cameras are are always fun. It's my first ever experience with one, like actually buying a camera. Nice. I was, but I had a really really cool experience when I was uh, when I was buying it, and I decided to talk to the dude at Best Buy. You know, like, hey, let's have a conversation. It's this old man. His name's Gary, and he's an absolute sweetheart. Really really nice guy. He's absolutely able to shoot the shit with me and actually and sit here and have conversations. And of course, I'm not going to sit here and curse like a sailor uh when I'm talking to the 75 year old. I represent Gary. that remark. <laughs> you mean resent? No, oh, no. I but... totally represent that remark. I am a sailor and I curse like one. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, I'm sitting here talking to Gary and we go on and on about these cameras and I finally make up my mind and I'm like, I think I'm going to stick with the M50 because he was trying to pull me towards Sony, but it was slightly out of my budget. Right. So we go ahead and I buy the M50 with uh, my memory card and everything, which uh, you might be interested to know that you can get a 128 gig SD card for 30 bucks at Best Buy right now. Yes. Is it an SDXE? Um, Yeah. Yes. (laughs) So 
I um I went ahead and bought that, and this one dude who was sitting here with his two with his two daughters like catches me and Gary while we're walking by and goes, "Hey, so you know a thing or two about uh about cameras?" I assume I was listening to y'all's conversation. I'm like, "Yeah, to an extent." Gary Gary does too, <laughs> you know, because he like, works here. Doing... Yeah, and we um we start talking about it, and um I was like, "Gary, you got any recommendations?" He's like, "No, no, no, no." He asked you. I was like. Okay, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I talked to him, I'm like, okay, what's your budget? What are you wanting to do? And he's like, okay, so we're going to, you know, have this, like, I'm wanting a camera that I make a, an investment in so I can record my girls as they grow up and play play their sports and stuff like that. I want to take pictures. I want to make videos. And I want it to be something that's going to last for a while. And I don't mind spending, like, over $1,000. So... To complete out that part of the story, um, he ended up buying a Sony A6400 uh, with the lens kit, which was like, you know, uh, for like, is it overkill? Yeah, but he wanted overkill, you know, so good for him. But the interesting part here was he was his daughter was like, oh, I was really looking at this one. It's Canon 80D. And I'm like, oh, I really like that camera. It's tried and true, but it's like it's 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 old like and that's just and he wants to get something newer and i was like and i know like casey neistat like made the vlog on this thing you know i like i love this camera and gary pops his head around the corner where he's standing and goes oh i met casey neistat and i was like what (laughs) (laughs) so he's having a conversation about how he um he won a drone from casey neistat because uh casey held a giveaway and um it was like if you want something out of this this picture go ahead and shoot me a message and i'll get it to you and you just gotta tell me what you want to use it for and what you and what's up and gary sent him a message on instagram this 75 year old man sent him an instagram that's that said i i would really really love to have that drone because i want to be just like you when i grow up (laughs) nice (laughs) so uh ended up uh, talking to him about how he, often he goes to New York to go visit his grandkids, and he uh, w- went to three six eight and uh, Broadway in New York and had pizza with Casey Neistat a couple years ago. God damn! Nice. I was like, damn, Gary, you get around, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. I was it's it was like a really it was it was heartwarming. I was just like, oh, this this man is so cool. I'm coming back to this Best Buy. <laughs> it's it's awesome meeting people who are who are uh you know in their 60s and 70s and still like ass you know some of the uh, uh, there was this gamer that i was uh i can't remember who uh, what her name was she's like 95 she's got a youtube channel oh, and she plays uh, video oh games. yeah the one playing skyrim yeah, yeah. and she's yeah. fucking awesome at it she's it's not like oh she's God. you know trying or uh, trying to figure out her her way around this game like she is legit she's good at it yeah um the I, one that i saw her. her playing the one that i saw her playing was rainbow six siege no and shit. she was just fucking destroying people just headshot no after way. headshot straight buckets every single time it was incredible and not oh, only I'm that she's talking shit on face cam <laughs> like <laughs> It was amazing seeing this. It's just like I—I I think she's like ninety, honestly. It's like eighties, like late eighties, early early nineties, and she goes on this night. She's in uh in the airplane uh, map, and she mm-hmm. comes up the ramp, comes around the corner. It's her versus one other person, one v one. Comes around the corner, headshot straight around the corner. Like she's uh, she's pre firing and just nails him. And she <laughs> she looks at the camera, holds up her mouse, drops it on the deck, dabs, and she's done. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, <laughs> this I need woman to is find this clip. Like this woman now. is the greatest grandma ever. It was fucking awesome. That is one of the greatest things I have ever heard. <laughs> Just like straight mic drop. Yeah, it was oh, a jeez. I always thought that was really funny. My mom plays plays a uh, Halo Four, and she's really good. Like she goes online and goes online and and wipes the floor with people. I always thought that was really funny. 
I, I wasn't making a jab at your mom. I was making a jab at Halo Four. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, it's that's the the game that she knows. That one and Modern Warfare Three. She's also really good at Modern Warfare Three. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, she is a she is a player lover uh, level fifty. She's prestiged twice offline and once online. <laughs> oh my <Lord>. god! Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, if this technology, if the, if we were, like, one generation later, like, if we were our kids, you know, can you imagine how cool our parents would fucking be? Oh, my God. Like, oh, don't dude. you go back Wait, to your room and clean you it, just... young lady. You know, it, I've prestiged 72 times in Modern Warfare 3. You get your shit together. I'm going to headshot you, bitch. Like, whoa. I'm going to fucking sorry. teabag the shit out of you in game, you fucking scrub. I could I could only only imagine what it would have been like to be, you know, 13 years old, walk into the living room and seeing my mom sitting on the couch going, boom, headshot. You know. Oh, my God. It's like. Oh, I would have like been see your grandma beautiful. come in and say, you walk into the room she's like, hey, hey, Jimmy. I'm like, hey, grandma, what's up? I'm just clapping some fucking cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> just earning that paper. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah, that's all right, boys. Let's obtain this grain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh bless us! When we ha when when our generation spawns, we're gonna be the coolest generation ever in our own heads. Already. Agreed. <laughs> Do you think that's what every generation has said before oh, us? Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. We time. figured out how to make the wheel. The we're the fucking coolest. Can you imagine? Nobody's gonna be cooler than us. Hey, look, modern technology. Nobody's gonna be cooler than us. Hey, look, You're we're going right. to space. Nobody's gonna be cooler. Exactly. I I have to say though. I, it's it's very often that I I look at the time that we live in technologically, and I'm very 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 thankful that I was born when I was, because I rem I've you know I, all of you guys are gamers, and that's how I've watched technology change throughout my life. Has has always been through video games. I remember you know playing video games on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Ooh. And you know, thinking that was an amazing game. My I, mom still had Pong, and I used to play that with her. I, I and now, hey, how old are you, buddy? Me? Yeah, 30, thirty-four. Mm -hmm. What were enough. you saying, CR? What were you saying? I get PTSD every time I hear the term Atari Twenty Six Hundred. I've, talk <laughs> I've talked about it on the podcast before. <laughs> These two don't know about it. Um, so I'm having breakfast with my dad. And he's okay. like, and we're in a public place. This is like a Denny's or something. So, and uh, so it's 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 me, Tiffany, who's my wife, uh, my dad, and my stepmom, and we're having breakfast, and uh, you know, public setting, this and that. And um, he's like, hey, I just had a garage sale, um, or I'm going to have a garage sale. And uh, he had one like a week before that. Like he was having multiple, and um, he was like, you know, if you want anything, just let me know and come, you know, come get it. And this and that, and he's like, maybe I'll cut you a deal, this, you know, because he's trying to make some money off of it. And he's like, right. yeah, the last, um, the last uh, garage sale went really well. I uh, sold this and this and this, and got this much. I'm like, oh, that's cool, Dad. He's like, oh yeah, and also, uh, he's like, I also found the uh, the old Atari. And mind you, my dad is not tech savvy in the right. slightest. Like, he had me come and hook up his DVR one day, and it was just HDMI to HDMI, and that was it. <laughs> 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 and he's not that old. He's he uh let's see I, I just turned 28 so he's 48 so he's not he's not super old and um he's just he's just been avoiding technology that's just not been his thing his his strong point is like you know fixing cars and all that jazz right and um so i'm like okay cool like he's like oh yeah i got rid of the atari i'm like so like how much you get out of it like it's i was like those are, I mean, those are that's rare I, that's you know it's a pristine 2600 I think we had eight different games. We had three different paddles. We had the sticks, and then we had like a turn knob for Pong. Um, the games that we had were like, <clears throat> we had uh, Adventure, Pong, <clears throat> the uh, the oh, tank-like game. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but anyway, we had a couple of the oh. more famous ones. And then uh, he goes, <laughs> how much did you get for it, Dad? Oh, uh, I sold I sold the console, you know, all this, all everything, eight games, uh, for twenty bucks. 
No. <laughs> oh, that's, that's no. Better. That's better than I thought it was going to be because I actually know someone who they went to college and they left their it was they had a they had a brand new inbox 2600 Commodore 64 um yeah every, we had the box too um <laughs> wow yeah they had they had wow. an S they had an SNES and they had a Super Famicom which is I know an SNES but mm-hmm. it was the inbox Japanese one and his parents went through their shit and we, they were like, oh, we wanted to downsize and we were turning your room into an office and they threw oh. them all away. Oh, oh no. See, that's the funny part. Like, with especially with our generation, I don't think so much with, with our parents' generation, but definitely with ours. There, I mean, video games can cause straight, no, straight up PTSD. Just like, CR, you were just talking about it. Like, Dude. that was my... Uh, I, I started this <laughs> this story before before the podcast, and then decided to, decided to uh, well, I think the the podcast gods actually decided that it needed to be to be told on the cast because my computer crashed. But um, the reason that I don't play World of Warcraft, yeah. I have a, I had a I had a rather rather unfortunate experience. He joined up in <laughs> Moonguard, and that was his first experience, and he was just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what? No, the... I... Why are these people crouched down? Why are these other people standing up? This is kind of weird. <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea what that reference is. All I know is that it's probably really bad. <laughs> um, Why are people dancing yeah. on mailboxes? Why don't they have any clothes? What's going on here? Oh god. I'm just gonna let I take it, it that's the that's the all-adult Adult server. Yeah. Thank you. No, um I I was a no, I've I've been a writer for a really, really long time and when you're on a sub, you gotta find ways of keeping yourself sane and keeping busy. And one of the well, one of the ways is writing. You'll see a lot of a lot of submariners will start writing. And uh very few people actually finish their books, but they'll write while they're underway. And I spent God, uh, two years, two two deployments, and all of the underways in between writing a book, four hundred and eighty pages, and oh. uh, four hundred and thirty pages. Sorry, and uh, I had this book saved on my laptop, and then I had a backup of it on my uh, on my hard drive. I had this little portable, you know, like my what is it, my HD or whatever. Little my WD, uh, yeah, Western mm-hmm. Digital, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I had one of those. And uh, I had this folder called My Shit, and it had my book in it, and it had thousands of pictures. I, I think I had about almost 3,000 pictures in there from many countries. I had 13 or 14 different countries. Tons and tons and tons of pictures in there. And uh, so I had this this roommate that I was staying with. We'll call him Bob. And uh, Bob was absolutely addicted to World of Warcraft. And I mean addicted. Addicted. You could you could time your watch by it at eight o'clock every single night. His raid would end, and he would come out of his come out of his office screaming, screaming the same thing every single night. My tank doesn't know what he's doing. Our DPS is an idiot, and our healer sucks every single night. And it just got so old. I was like, God, I don't care. Holy fuck, I don't care. Like, go talk to somebody who actually, you know, plays this game and knows what you're talking about. Because I don't play it. I don't care whether your raid party is like, if you're, if it sucks that bad, just leave, right? And he'd be like, "No, man, they're my raiding party. I'm, I'm, I'm loyal to them." Like, okay, Ooh, that well, thing, yeah. whatever, dude. <laughs> like, you obviously hate these people, <laughs> but if that's if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. So, kind of left it all. alone. <laughs> and he was he kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing for me to play this game. He's like, dude, you gotta play WoW, you gotta play WoW, you gotta play WoW, you'll fall in love with this game, you gotta play WoW. And I'm going, okay, all right, look. I'll play. Okay. If it if it will shut you up, <laughs> I will play. Okay. So I downloaded the game, got myself a got myself a membership, started playing. Immediately I'm thrown into the deep end. Like I, I like I've I've always been a big supporter of video game industry. I love the the stories that these game that these game makers tell 
through their through their media, and they had a specific way that it was intended to be to be uh you know played and experienced, and that's what I wanted. That's what I try to do when I'm whenever I'm whenever I'm playing a game is I I like going through all of the quests and seeing all the world and all the work. I mean, there were thousands and thousands and thousands in World of Warcraft, tens of thousands of man hours that went into creating this world. So I like to go out and, and play and explore and, you know, work with, you know, do the quests and that kind of stuff. But I was not allowed to do that. They were like, no, you have to power level and then you're going to raid. And I was like, oh, God, okay. All right. Well, I will. So power leveled me up. I think I got to like level 30 something in like two days. I mean, it was super, whoa, 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 super whoa, whoa, fast. Wait. He wanted you to play, but then power leveled you. What the fuck kind of fun is that? There is no fun oh, in that, and I was trying to point. explain that's it just, to him. Yeah, let, let him finish the story. That, that, okay. You're, you're My bad. Oh, ahead. Yeah, I am so I'm sorry. Like, I am so sorry. I'm, I'm, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, just, I'm looking at this guy like, motherfucker, I, I'm the player here. Like, I'm not your fucking backpack. Was he one of those, <laughs> like, controlling friends that was like, here, yeah. here, do this, and okay, now that you've done this, okay, now you do this, and it's like, no, yeah, I, he's I like, CR, I want, wait, wait, there's, more. I know how this Am is I on go. the nose here? I'm sorry, oh, <laughs> dead on, sorry. dead on the nose, <laughs> and uh, oh, it, it got worse, it got worse because as once I had the game downloaded, now he's bugging me for a, a what's the what's the app, e? curse, uh, curse, curse, the, uh, add ons. So now he's like, well, where's your curse client, man? Why aren't you running mods? You have to run uh, the only oh, one that I remember these was... you're a scrub and blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Big boss mods. He's like, well, how are you managing your bazaar? I was like, motherfucker, I don't sell anything. <laughs> like, Why do I need an app to, to manage my bazaar when I don't use the bazaar? He's like, well, you got to use the bazaar. And he's like, oh, my God. It's just called kept an auction house. Worse. Whatever. It's, yeah, it's the okay. auction just house. Let it go. Just let it go. I'm not here to I judge. Was... Trust me. I'm... <laughs> I got so upset with him and I was I finally I was like all right look you've got a day off I worked uh, this was one of my shipmates I, I he worked on the same ship I was oh that's but, awkward um, can you imagine oh my yeah. God, I'm so sorry continue and he's going I'm going look you've got the day off tomorrow I have to go to work here's the password to my computer put it uh, you know download curse client download the mods that I need I'll come home tonight or I'll come home tomorrow night and I'll I'll uh you know learn how to use them. Okay. Will that will that satisfy you? And he goes, Yeah, yeah, man. You got it. And I was like, okay, just install the curse client. You know? He goes, Okay, I got it. I take off for work. I come home the next night and I open up my computer and my background has been changed. Oh, my fuck icons off. have been changed. <laughs> He has changed all of my icons. He's gone through all of my files, like everything, everything he went through and, and messed with, with all this stuff. And I was going, I wasn't going to play immediately. I was going to go work on that book. So I'm looking for this file, the, the, my shit file with my book and all the pictures. Oh, in it. And I was oh like, no. where the fuck is it? I go over to, now I go into his office and I was like, Hey, Bob, where the fuck is this file? And he goes, Oh, I deleted it. I was like, what? What the fuck do you mean you deleted it? It's like, dude, there were thousands of pictures in there. That my book was in there. You know how much I how much time I've spent writing that book. I had probably four hundred hours of writing into this book. I was already in my second edit. Like it was, I had put a lot of work into this. Previous versions. And he's like, well, I just you know I I I deleted it. It was taking up room on your computer. Gotta have room for all those mods we gotta install. Yeah, I'm like... Fucking asshole, what a dick. I'm like, motherfucker, you better be glad that I've got a copy of that saved on my hard drive. I didn't say anything else to him. I turn around, I walk back into the living room, I grab my hard drive, I plug it into my laptop. My hard drive is fucking corrupted. Every single picture and my book are gone permanently. And I don't know I, how I refrain from killing that man. Well, it is the one and only fist fight that I've ever been in because I walked into his office and I was already seeing red. And I'm just looking at him like, I cannot believe he did this. Like, do you do you understand? But and he wasn't he he couldn't grasp that what he'd done was screwed up. Like, as far as he was concerned, wow was the only thing that was important. And I was going, Do you understand like that those are those are thousands of pictures that I can never take again. 
like that was a book that I I spent years on that I cannot get back and you destroyed that and he goes yeah it's just a book man this is wow I Yikes. don't remember what a tagline <laughs> oh my god yeah. Yeah. I don't remember anything after that I the next thing I knew I'm on top of this guy getting pulled off of him by his wife because I just I snapped man <laughs> I lost it. It's the only time I've ever been in uh, been in that kind of a that kind of a situation. I, and uh, I I couldn't it, imagine because like I uh, sorry I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. Uh, well, because uh, I made a coloring book and it's only <gasps> it's only twenty five pages long, but you know it took me I, I I would say a year, but it was just because I was fucking procrastinating. Um, right. But yeah. each each page maybe took me uh, somewhere between an hour to like an entire day over the course of you know, making them. And I was yeah. so scared because we're like, I actually moved houses at one point and I was just like, for love of God, nothing go wrong because I don't want to lose this book. And I can't, yep. and even though mine's only 25 pages, I can't imagine losing something like that. Cause I would, yeah. you put so, and so much work goes into it. Fuck. Yeah. You pour your heart and soul into it. It's a, it's a big, big thing. And, uh, so yeah, I, I ended up getting into a fight with the guy, knocked out a couple of teeth. <laughs> Um, Fuck yeah. and his you take my book, I take some souvenirs. In. Sorry. Right. <laughs> well, his uh, his wife ended Ow. up coming in and pulling me off of him. Asked me what you know, just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. She's like, "Do you want to explain to me why you two are beating the shit out of each other?" And I was like, "How about this? Why don't you let your husband explain it?" And he turned around and same same shitty expression he's like man he's like i don't know what he's upset about i just deleted a couple of fucking pictures so i could upgrade his computer to the way it should be <laughs> and that was when she put two and two together and she looked at me uh, looked at him and she went you fucking deserve that come on cj let's go and we left and we ended up getting a hotel there that night <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a joke. I was about gonna that. make a joke. I wow. wanted to make the joke so bad. We were there. We were ready. Ended. We were I so was ready. Like, that mad. I, I beat the shit out of him. And then, <laughs> and then I well I I will I will neither you confirm nor deny that anything actually happened because I was technically can I can I can I say this in the most epic way possible? Sure. This fucker deleted my book and my pictures, so I beat the fuck out of him, and then I fucked his wife. I was gonna say that. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I was gonna let you go. That is. I can, I can oh, neither confirm nor deny that any <laughs> sexual acts happened that night. <laughs> well, we'll leave like, that alone. Because I was under the UCMJ at the time, and I could probably still get in trouble for that if, if the wrong person heard about it. So, technically, I could get. In trouble. Yes. He didn't fuck story. his wife. It's that's a joke. <laughs> Metaphorically. <laughs> End of joke, lag here. Metaphor right. Metaphorically didn't fuck his wife. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, I'm not doing a fucking I'm, spit take just then. <laughs> and, and that's the thing. I am I am not that kind of guy. I have never been that kind of guy. Ask it's, ask it's okay. Gaten. We believe you. I <laughs> I really Wink. I am I am the like the 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 furthest thing from that kind of person that you'll ever meet but at that point that was the one and only time when i when that internal voice that was saying you know this is probably not a great idea that little guy was looking at me going that fucker deserves it screw him <laughs> or, better yet or, as it were <laughs> yeah, I was say, better yet screw his wife <laughs> yeah, like i was like fuck this man fuck that guy which I ended up, I ended up finding out things just got worse with him. Like this is the same dude who was late to his own wedding by an hour and a half because of a raid. <laughs> this, Yikes. I mean, like, dude's mother and or father-in-law, his his wife's father, very wealthy individual, sent them on a two-week all-expenses-paid trip to Cancun for their uh, for their honeymoon. She went and did everything alone because he was on the computer rating the entire time because he didn't have to work. See, I have personal experience with this sort of uh, this sort of thing, and I've I've mentioned it before. I think I've actually told it on the podcast before, but there is no soul crushing emotion than what you feel when you're laying on the backboard, having just been pulled out of your own car. Your mic's hot. You're scraping it. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> it's cool. 
um, laying on a backboard, having just been pulled out of your own car, wrecked, literally totaled by a F-350 pickup truck, dually carrying a trailer and a demo car on the back of that when it plows into your driver's side, T-bones you. You get dragged out, you're on the backboard, you're in the emergency room, they've told you that you're probably going to be okay, which... They were they had me on morphine at the time. So yeah, it was great. Um, <laughs> you were on a spaceship. Oh, it was great. Call my mom. Mom, I've been in an accident. Where are you? I'm in this emergency room. I'll be there in 10 minutes. She was there in seven. Next call. I called my ex. I said, you know, I've been in an accident. What's are is anything broken? I don't know. Are you hurt? I don't know. All right, I'll come down tomorrow to see you bit take I, i'm on morphine and i even did a double take i was like tomorrow i'm in the hospital now and he says well i have a raid tonight oh, mm. oh. yeah uh, and, uh, oh fuck you. yeah what's funny is that i don't remember if he came to visit me or not because the next two weeks after i got home was like just a, it's a complete blur so i don't know if he actually came to visit or not but i do know that my friend zulis who he's a regular in my channel we still hang out we've been friends for over over 12 years i had been talking to him on the phone about five ten minutes before the accident happened he called my mother every single day for two weeks to check in on me and to see how i was and i don't even know if my boyfriend at the time came in to check on me as soon as i got back on my feet and kind of like processed what was going on i got a hold of my uh then boyfriend's raid leader and said, look, I will give you 50 bucks to bench him for a week. And she's like, why? What happened? And I told her the whole story. And she said, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. He was benched for the rest of the patch. The entire, the tier of content. They benched him. <laughs> I bet he was pissed about that. And we stayed together for another four years, which I'm not sure what the fuck that was about, but... Oh, holy um, shit. Well, yeah. just in case... The whole road we can go down with bad relationship ideas. Yeah. Just in case he ever watches this particular episode of the podcast. Get sir, help. I am so sorry. Help me. But you are I'm drowning. an absolute moron. Like, I, I, I really... I, I want to say that you've got some kind of potential, but at that point... I don't know, man. <laughs> like, no, like, no. Can you fix that no. level of stupid? Is that possible? Mm, remember what we talked about earlier? You can fix ignorance, but you can't <laughs> fix stupid. You can't fix stupid. I completely agree. Yeah. 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 There's no fix. Now, Sorry, with but... that said, I do wish him the best, and I'm sure he's getting his sh he got his shit together, and blah blah blah, et cetera, et cetera, all this good stuff. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it is getting to the end of the podcast, so we should probably wrap up ever so slightly because, I don't know, some people have lives or something that start at 9 p.m. I don't yeah. know. Man, but... I've got a stream. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in and that, and I, I don't mean to, I don't mean to like end oh. on like a negative note. Like I said, I wish him the best, but we do need to kind of. I call that. I call that. I call. No, 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 no. Yeah, fuck that guy. But here's the deal. We all <laughs> learned and we all grew from our past experiences like that. Exactly. Yep. So, exactly. yeah, we're we're the people we are because of shit like that. I don't call that a negative note. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, I I, first of all, I want to thank our patrons, uh, Time Jumper and Risu. You guys are amazing. We love you desperately. Hooray. Uh, if you want to see the rest of, if you want to listen to the rest of the podcast, we are on Spotify, we are on Plex, and we are on YouTube. If you are listening to this on YouTube, the links will be below. If you want to check us out on Spotify, it's bit.ly slash required podcast. I don't think we have a link to the Plex one yet, but if you just search required podcast, it will come up. Um, either way, actually, you can search on all three platforms and we will come up. So yeah, check us out. Subscribe. Send us a little love. We'd love to hear your comments. We'd love to see what you think. Um, or we don't care. I'm not sure. CR, how do you feel about that? I don't care. Okay, cool. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. No, yeah, all Zero the uh, bucks all, given. All the Twitter straight uh, thug life right there. All the Twitter links are always down below the uh, the video um, on YouTube. But you know, if you listen on Spotify, well, I'm sorry. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I it. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so Welcome. much. We love you. Have a good night.
Bye. Bye.